friends, this is Sunil from TechRecipes.com. In this video, I'll illustrate a comparison between VLOOKUP and a combination of index and match formulas for Excel search tasks. Those who have worked with Excel over the years might be familiar with usage of VLOOKUP, but I've seen that very few have tried or even heard about using index match as an alternative. Well, without much further ado, Let's start with a review of VLOOKUP using a very simple illustration. In this sheet, we have two data sets. The one on the left is a salesman master and the second depicts the sales for Jan 2014. Well, to use VLOOKUP, it's not required that both data sets be available on the same sheet. You could have them on different sheets on the same file or on two totally different files. The objective in this particular illustration is to extract the salesman name from the first dataset into the second dataset. A common identifier in both the datasets are required for VLOOKUP to work. And in this case, as you can notice, it is the salesman code. So let's type in the formula VLOOKUP. The first parameter is the lookup value, which is nothing but the common identifier, the salesman code. The logic here is that we are going to look up salesman code from the second data set in the first data set to pick up the reference salesman name. The next parameter, table array, refers to the data set where the salesman name exists. In that case, we will select the entire range which contains both the salesman code and the salesman name. Column index number refers to the column number from the left of the previously selected range that contains the salesman name, which is 2. And lastly, since we want the exact match to be returned, the last parameter would be false. We can now see the desired result. The code DM refers to Deborah Michael, which is indeed correct. Once you have logged the range selection using the dollar sign, we can drag down the formula to complete the task. All this looks pretty straightforward, doesn't it? But let's say we rearrange the columns a little bit, as I've done here. And look, the formula result is showing invalid. But if we were to inspect the formula, everything we did previously looks intact. So what could be the problem here? Well, when using VLOOKUP, the looked up value in the range has to be the leftmost value. But once we rearrange the columns, the looked up value is the salesman code, obviously, but the leftmost value in the selected range is now the salesman name. Since this rule does not match, the formula fails. This is where a combination of both the index and match formula comes to the rescue. Before we use a combination of both the formulas, let's understand each individually. Firstly, the index formula asks for three parameters, an array or range, row number and the column number. The range is the same we selected previously with VLOOKUP. Row number refers to the row integer value that contains the salesman name. And similarly, the column number refers to the column integer value that contains the salesman name as well. In this case, the row number is 2 and the column number is 1. With the index formula we have used, we have got a salesman name, but the result is incorrect. What we know for sure is that the column number we specified containing the salesman name will remain 1. But what dynamically changes is the row number of the salesman name. If we had a way to dynamically find the row number for every matching salesman code from dataset 2 and dataset 1, we would have the right result. That's where the match formula comes into the picture. Match formula takes three parameters, lookup value, lookup array, and match type. The lookup value is the salesman code from dataset 2. The lookup array is the single column range containing the salesman code in dataset 1. And the match type to select is obviously exact match. The formula has returned number 3 as the result, which actually refers to row number 3. As you can see, salesman code DM is indeed found in row number 3 in dataset 1. As you drag down the match formula, you'll now be getting a better idea of what we're trying to do next. 
Since we have got the correct row number of matching salesman code in dataset 1, all we need to do now is to provide this row number in the index formula. But how do we do that? Well, just copy the match formula in the place of the row number and that's it. Your result is achieved without the limitation of having to maintain leftmost values as we did in VLOOKUP. Well, if this formula is new to you, a bit of practice and this will be at your fingertips for sure. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.